So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide your wires for your wall mount TV and put them actually in the wall cavity. We're gonna show you a couple of ticks and tricks, a couple of tips and tricks for that. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to go out and buy these low voltage boxes. This is basically just the frame of a box that's compatible with all the finished plates. So we're gonna have a finished plate that goes on this top and bottom and these here are going to be spinning out and making contact with the drywall. So here's how this works. We have our mount, we know where the wood is because we have screws. Just double check, you wanna use a stud finder. Confirm there's nothing behind where you wanna work. So I'm gonna put a box up here, just above the TV mount. In most cases, TV mounts are in the middle. And I'm gonna just trace out the outside perimeter of this box. If you look real closely, you'll see that the sides that are gonna go in the drywall, it's a smaller diameter than the actual outside edge of that low voltage box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my drywall saw and I'm gonna cut one eighth of an inch in side of that line that I drew so that I can place this. Just gonna use a regular hand tool, drywall saw. I love how easy this is. The goal here is to leave enough wall showing that the face of that orange plate is on top of the drywall and that's how you get your compression. Boom. One of the reasons you wanna use a hand saw like this is if there is wires or plumbing or anything else in that wall, You'll feel it with this before you can cause damage to it. If you use a regular cutout tool, Lord knows what you're cutting. And if there's a live wire back there and you use a cutout tool and you cut through that wire, you're in a lot of trouble because you can't just patch it and cover it up. You have to find both ends where they go and then run brand new wire again. Might be into a whole brand new piece of hurt right there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same technique. We're gonna cut a hole down here behind where your cabinet or wherever your console is gonna be so you can run your cable. All right, here we go. So. Same place, same thing, same thing. We're just gonna trace it out and cut it just like the other one. Now what we're gonna do is just take these, stick them in place. Okay, let me just demonstrate you how this works. There's two tightening screws. And when, as, soon as, you, as soon as you start, the wing flips out. And then it just pulls it nice and close into the drywall. That's how you use a low voltage box. Here we go. Okay. So we're gonna to try to fish this cable. <laughs> to go from the TV, one hole to the next. And sometimes, sometimes you can even get lucky. What in the heck am I hitting? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on. And there we go, we have a teachable moment. There's fire blocking in this wall. So I have to drill a hole in that. Lucky for me, we got the tool for the job. So in case you weren't sure, this is actually the back of a staircase and it's at my studio, which is a church, of course. So this would be considered a fire exit, which is why there's fire blocking in the wall. So if fire got into the wall, it couldn't burn all the way up into the next room. So now we got to make a hole. That seems like as good a place as any. Now let's see if we can get the cable through. Now I'm gonna find that hole. Not that I can see a bloody thing in here, right? Eh? <sighs> let's see if we can see where I made the hole. There it is. Yeah, that's why I couldn't find it. That's not a half inch pit. That is too small. Just for the record, um, this is a half inch pit. This is just a little bit bigger than half an inch. Loving it. So. We'll try again. I'm gonna get my bit extender and a spade bit. I'll make another hole. Ah. There we go. Now that was a much bigger hole that'll make this easier. Okay. Here we 
go. Now, if you find that doesn't work, you can always use one of these fish tapes. You can pull this out and stick this through the hole. Where's the hole? Come on, you bloody thing. Here it is. Because these generally go straight, they're a little bit more predictable. <laughs> there it is. Now if you had to, you could just use some electrical tape and tape the end of your cable onto this and then you can pull it through. All right, that's another way to get that done if you're running into trouble. And the way that this feeds up is just by rolling it back into the handle. All right. This is a handy gizmo to have around. Today's shout out goes out to Josh. Wow, this kitchen renovation blows my mind. Well done, like just great work, dude. Can't believe it. You're an inspiration to everybody in the DIY community. All right, now listen, I'd love to give you a shout out, but I don't know where you live. Gotta tell us. <laughs> Let me know what you do for a living, where you live. Drop it on Instagram and Facebook. We can put you in our next video and help encourage other people. DIY is totally possible. It doesn't mean it's gonna be ugly. Look at the work that people are doing. It's blowing my mind. Cheers, now let's get back to the video. Now we just wanna put all the excess cable in the wall. Remember, the reason we're using low voltage cable is anything like coax or HDMI or telephone wire, it still runs with electricity, but it's such a low amount of it that even if you were to bite it in half, it's not gonna electrocute you. Okay, well, here we go. The last thing you need, of course, because you don't want to have an ugly hole in your wall, is a really nice cover plate. Now this cover plate comes in two parts, all right? Disengage the screws here. And try not to lose it. All right, now. It's just like any other wall plug. They're all very standard sizes. You just screw it to the box. But you run your cable through first. Now, this is called the single brush wall plate. You just screw that together and now the cable can move around freely. Brilliant, gives a great look. So you put one of those top and bottom and you're done. Just a matter of sticking the TV back and that's it. Great little project, hide the wires, give you a much more modern look in your house. There's nothing more tacky than having a bunch of wires dangling from your TV. So listen, if that's gonna help you, then give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be teaching all kinds of great little tips and tricks to help make sense of your life. Make sense of your life? Holy crap, let's try that again. Well, there we go, we're all finished. Hopefully that was helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And if you need to learn how to mount your TV bracket, then you can click the link right here. We'll see you in another video again soon. Cheers till next time. What the hell, I can't believe that took me four tries.